I'm Ruby Saleh. On July 13th, 2020, my 33-year-old brother, Fahim Saleh, returned from a three-mile run and was stabbed and dismembered in his apartment. My family and I are in such shock and debilitating pain. Our beautiful boy was taken from us, and right now it doesn't feel like life can ever be joyful again. My brother was brilliant, creative, spontaneous, whimsical, and generous to a fault. My family and I have been receiving so many heartfelt messages from Fahim's friends and colleagues. And I wanted to read this one in particular to you because it really spoke to me. It begins, Hi, I'm not sure if you remember me, but I had partnered with Fahim on an app almost 10 years ago, and we met. Fahim was one of a kind and beyond gracious. Our partnership didn't work out, but he was a true gentleman about it and gave me time to buy him out, and never charged me any fees, and never got upset. Afterwards, we remained friends, and the last time we met in person was about two years ago. We always kept in touch, and chatted when we could help one another. The world lost a great man, and if it would be of any interest, I would love to give your parents a call and tell them my story of what a special son they had, and just how special and great his kindness was behind the scenes that many never knew about. I, was, I will always talk about his kindness and remember his greatness. I returned to my parents a few days ago, um, and my father, had created this remembrance for my brother on the mantle of our fireplace. And every time I walk by that, it is the most heartbreaking thing because it's such a true representation of exactly who Fahim was and such a reminder of the fact that he really is no longer with us anymore. My family and I will do everything in our power to keep Fahim's memory alive and to keep his visions ongoing. We will also dedicate ourselves to ensure that Fahim gets justice. My brother's death was a crime of the most cruel and heinous nature. Whether you knew Fahim or not, we may reach out to you to ask for your help in achieving our goals. And we hope you will be just as kind and open-hearted as Fahim always was. And my last ask is, if you're someone's sister, the next time you see your brother, please hug him as tightly as you can for as long as you want. Because that's all I want to do every time I see those photos. But I'll never be able to hug Fahim again.